Hey guys. Hey guys. Hi, I can't wait to see what everyone made. So we started by talking about games from all over the world. Then we took a few moments to brainstorm and design and we built our own games. So guys, what'd you come up with? <laughs> Mine's played a lot like skee ball at the arcade. Uh, you roll three balls that I made out of socks um, up the ramp into the different boxes to earn different points. Oh. And it definitely took a few tries to get those boxes to stay in place, but I kept trying and I made it work and it turned out to be really, really fun. I even put it outside so other people could play. Cool. I made a coding game for two players. One person is the programmer and the other person is the robot. The programmer directs the robot to a splash square. They have to say run code before the robot can move. If the robot doesn't end up in a splash square, the programmer can debug or try again one time. If the programmer gets the robot to a splash zone, they can spray them with the water gun. Then the robot and the programmer switch places. I had a lot of fun playing this. Oh, that sounds like fun. That sounds awesome. <laughs> so for my game, I created two versions. And you can play by yourself or with an infinite number of players. The first version, you can use a golf club or you can make a golf club. And you can hit the ball and you try to get it in the one point, five point, or ten point slot and you get three chances uh, to score points and then it's the next player's go. If you don't have a yeah, golf club, you can just roll the ball from a certain spot and try to get it into the different slots. My family and I played yesterday and it was lots of fun, but if I had to go back and redesign it, um, I would definitely make a change because it was a little confusing. I was supposed to have a one point slot, a five point slot, and a 10 point slot. And it didn't come out like that. I ended up with two five point slots. So I would make a slight um, adjustment to fix that problem. Yeah, I had, I had a lot of fun working in my garage. Um, I had you know, threads to talk about how you were supposed to move. I had different challenges like um, you've raced against somebody doing a crab walk or a jump rope challenge. Um, I really liked building the, the game board with some tape on the floor because then, then the game can be different every time. And one of the challenges I had um, was putting my dice together and making sure that it would roll. Um, and the jump ropes were kind of hard to braid as well. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, um, my game was a ring toss and unfortunately I ran out of tape halfway through and then I had to figure out how to tear and make slots to make sure that all the arms on the ring toss would actually stay. And when we played, um, I changed it a little bit because I decided to have larger rings for one point and then smaller rings, you could double your points if you got those on. That made it more of a challenge. Gosh, these games are so cool, guys. Yeah, they really yeah, are. I'm really. so impressed, everybody. <laughs> yeah, let's see what kind of games you guys can make. You can share in your class meetings, or if you have parent permission, you can post on Twitter at Henrico Schools with the hashtag HCPS Steam Game and hashtag Henrico Edflix. Nice. Guys, it's so beautiful outside. I think I'm gonna go play some sidewalk ski ball right now. <laughs> Me too. I'm gonna go play my game. See you guys later. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Have fun.